Economic wealth is influenced by a variety of factors, including natural resources, industrial development, infrastructure, human capital, political stability, innovation, and favorable economic policies. Additionally, wealth disparities exist within continents, with some regions or countries being more prosperous than others. In this video we would be looking at the list of continents of the world sorted by their nominal gross domestic product, GDP, the market value of all final goods and services from a continent in a given year. As of September 2023, the world was estimated at a total of $105,569 billion in GDP. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for joining us. If you are new to this channel, do well to like and share the video and hit that subscribe button to join our channel. Number 6. Oceania. This is a continent with 14 countries and a combined nominal GDP of $2,002 billion. Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and the Pacific Island countries are just a few of the various nations and territories that make up Oceania, commonly known as the South Pacific region. The riches and economics of Oceania vary greatly between these various nations. The major economies in the region, Australia and New Zealand, make significant economic contributions to Oceania as a whole with Australia contributing 85.3% of the total nominal GDP of Oceania. Particularly Australia enjoys a healthy economy supported by sectors including mining, agriculture, services, and tourism. Natural resources like coal, iron ore, gold, and agricultural products are abundant there, and they have contributed to the country's rapid economic development. Australia also has a higher GDP per capita when compared to France, the UK, Canada, and Germany. New Zealand is renowned for its robust agricultural industry, tourism, and cutting-edge industries like technology and filmmaking. The Pacific Island countries, in contrast, have smaller economies and face particular difficulties. Agriculture, fishing, and tourism are major industries in many of these countries. Their economic development is impacted by several variables, including scarce resources, isolation due to geography, and sensitivity to climate change. But some nations, like Fiji and Samoa, have made headway in attracting investments and diversifying their economies to include industries like manufacturing, services, and renewable energy. Despite this, there are wealth gaps in the area, with Australia and New Zealand having larger GDP per capita than the Pacific Island countries. In Octoate inclusive growth and enhancing the general well-being of well-being regions, efforts are being undertaken to advance sustainable development, bolster regional collaboration, and solve socio-economic difficulties. Number 5. Africa. The wealth and economics of Africa create a distinct scenery all around the continent. Africa, which has 54 nations, offers a diverse range of economic models, natural riches, and developmental difficulties. With a combined GDP of $2,995 billion, Nigeria, South Africa, Algeria, and Egypt contribute up to 50% of the GDP of the entire region. Agriculture, mining, manufacturing, services, and increasing technology and telecommunications are some of the industries that drive Africa's economy. Natural resources like oil, gas, minerals, including gold, diamonds, and copper, and land suitable for cultivation abound across the continent. The economic development and export earnings of Africa are significantly influenced by these resources. Foreign Direct Investment FDI, has been essential to the economic growth of Africa. Investments in industries like manufacturing, infrastructure, energy, and telecommunications have fueled growth and opened up job possibilities. Initiatives for regional integration and intra-African trade have also gained momentum, promoted economic cooperation, and improved market access throughout the continent. Utilizing the continent's resources, making investments in human capital, enhancing governance, and promoting sustainable development are top goals for maximizing the continent's economic potential and ensuring inclusive prosperity for all of its citizens. Number 4. South America the economy and riches of South America are comprised of a variety of industries, natural resources, and nations with various stages of development. The combined GDP of the region is $4,068 billion and Brazil alone contributes over 50% of the region's GDP. Oil, gas, minerals, including copper, iron ore, and lithium, as well as agricultural products like soybeans, coffee, and meat are among the abundant natural resources in South America. 
For some countries in the region, these resources have been a major factor in export earnings and economic growth. The largest economy in South America, Brazil, has a broad economic base that includes sectors like mining, manufacturing, services, and agriculture. While Chile benefits from its copper mining business, Argentina is known for its agricultural industry. Peru has abundant natural resources, and Colombia's oil and gas industry is expanding. In addition, South America has witnessed a boom in entrepreneurship, technical innovation, and the service industry. Digital economy and thriving startup ecosystems have been formed in nations like Brazil and Colombia. Natural resources, agriculture, manufacturing, services, and rising sectors all have an impact on the economy and wealth of South America. The future of the continent's economy will be shaped by maximizing potential, enhancing infrastructure, stimulating innovation, and resolving socio-economic inequities. Number 3. Europe. A wide variety of industries, a developed infrastructure, and a high level of life across the continent define Europe's economy and prosperity. With a combined GDP of $24,881 billion, Germany, the UK, France, and Italy contribute up to half of the GDP of the region. The developed economies of Europe, including those of Germany, France, the United Kingdom, and Italy, are a major factor in the general economic prosperity of the continent. To encourage economic integration, trade, and investment among its member states, the European Union EU, is essential. A robust industrial sector, particularly those in the automotive, aerospace, machinery, and pharmaceutical industries, characterizes the economy of Europe. The services industry, which includes finance, technology, tourism, and professional services, also makes a considerable financial contribution to the continent. Germany, for example, is well-renowned for its export-focused businesses, whereas London serves as the hub of a robust financial services industry in the United Kingdom. Sweden and Denmark, two Nordic nations, have led the world in innovation and technology. Europe benefits from a highly skilled workforce, an extensive network of infrastructure, and effective transportation networks. The continent has benefited from technical breakthroughs and competitiveness thanks to its concentration on education, research, and innovation. However, there are economic inequalities within Europe, with several Eastern and Southern European nations experiencing economic difficulties and having lower GDP per capita than their Western counterparts. On the entire continent, initiatives are being made to address these inequities and encourage inclusive growth. Strong trade ties between Europe and the rest of the world are another important factor in the economic prosperity of the continent. With considerable export and import volumes, the EU is a prominent actor in world trade. Overall, a variety of industries, trade, investments, infrastructure, and human capital shape Europe's economy and prosperity. The mainstays of sustaining and enhancing Europe's economic success remain unwavering innovation, environmentally friendly development, and regional cooperation. Number 2. North America. Strong industry, technological advancements, and a high standard of life across the continent define North America's economy and prosperity. The GDP of the region is at a combined worth of $31,319 billion and the USA alone contributes to about 85% of the GDP. The region's economic development is mostly driven by the two major economies in North America, the United States and Canada. The American economy is varied and well-developed, including segments like banking, technology, manufacturing, agriculture, and services. With famous businesses in the technology, pharmaceutical, and aerospace sectors, it is a world innovator leader. Oil, gas, minerals, and lumber are just a few of the abundant natural resources that make Canada so well known. Additionally, it has a robust services sector, especially in the fields of banking, healthcare, and education. A competent workforce and strong infrastructural networks help both nations. The third largest economy in North America, Mexico boasts a broad range of economic sectors, including manufacturing, the car industry, tourism, and agriculture. It acts as a hub for international trade and has a sizable manufacturing sector, with numerous multinational corporations setting up shop there. In general, varied industries, technological innovation, trade relations, infrastructure, and human capital all have an impact on North America's economy and prosperity. The region's economic performance may be sustained and improved by continuing to invest in research and development, promoting entrepreneurship, and keeping a trained workforce. Number 1. Asia. 
Asia's economy and riches are richly contributed to by diverse sectors, quick economic growth, and a sizable contribution to global economic activity. The combined GDP of the region is $40,248 billion with China and Japan contributing to the largest proportion of the GDP of Asia. Some of the largest and fastest growing economies in the world, including India and South Korea, are also found in Asia. The economic structure of the continent is significantly influenced by these nations. With a concentration on manufacturing, infrastructure improvement, and technology, China in particular has seen extraordinary growth and is now the second largest economy in the world. Several industries, including manufacturing, services, agriculture, finance, and technology, are the main drivers of the Asian economy. Electronics, automotive, textile, and industrial industries, among others, are well known for being strongly export-oriented in this area. Asia also plays a significant role in global supply chains, which strengthens its economy. Asia gains from having a sizable population and a developing middle class, which stimulate domestic consumption and propel economic growth. Additionally, the area is a hub for international trade and investment and draws substantial amounts of foreign direct investment. Overall, Asia's manufacturing prowess, services sector expansion, technical innovation, domestic consumption, and global trade integration all have a significant impact on the region's economy and wealth. The dynamism and ongoing economic expansion of the region have a substantial impact on the world economy. Antarctica has not been listed in this video because there is no permanent population in Antarctica. The GDP of the continent would, however, exceed $1 billion if traditional GDP methodology were to be used, which takes into account resident salaries and equipment and building purchases. This concludes our list of the richest continents in the world. Thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to leave a review and comment on what you think about this video. Until next time, stay safe.